Yet another costly red faces all around space shuttle launch delay. Why do group decisions sometimes result in monumental error? What drives groups to make decisions against their better judgment? Using the story of the space shuttle Challenger, this video explores the phenomenon of group think, in which group members seek unanimous agreement despite their own individual doubts. Since Flight 17, we know something we didn't know before. The primary O-ring can fail completely. The shuttle has flown 19 times, and it's come back 19 times. Our job isn't to run around like Chicken Little hollering the sky is falling. It's to keep that shuttle flying. Dr. James K. Esser identifies the eight symptoms of groupthink. When more of these symptoms are present, the likelihood is greater that groupthink has occurred, and therefore the probability is higher that any resulting decision will be unsuccessful, possibly even catastrophic. The Air Force estimates 29 degrees at launch tomorrow morning. We have no data uh, on O-rings operating at temperatures this low. So determining if this extreme cold will affect the O-rings, and if it does, uh, how much is critical. So our recommendation is not launching until the uh, temperature is at least 53 degrees. It's my understanding that the solid rocket boosters are qualified by contract for operation between 40 and 90 degrees. Are the solids qualified at 40 degrees or aren't they? What you're saying sounds like Morton Thiokol is establishing new launch commit criteria the night before a launch. Now, these solid rocket boosters have been operating under very definite specifications. You suddenly want to change them. At that rate, it could be spring before the shuttle would fly. My God, Thiokol, when do you want me to launch? Next April? Our charts may be inconclusive, our data insufficient, but everything we do have shows we'll be safer launching at 53 degrees or above. That's clear. That's absolutely clear. It's time to make a decision. Bob, take off your engineer's hat and put on your management hat. Does anyone in the loop have a different position? Even though we had some concerns about the low temperatures, we now recommend proceeding with the launch. With this powerful video, viewers will learn how to avoid unwanted organizational actions by making decisions that truly reflect a team consensus. T-minus 21 seconds and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T-minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning, it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. Fifteen seconds. Velocity twenty nine hundred feet per second. Altitude nine nautical miles. Downrange distance seven nautical miles. Looks like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, 
blew away from the side of the shuttle in an explosion. Flight controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. waiting word they're holding their breath just I'm sure as everyone else is you saw it just a few moments ago about 45 seconds after liftoff a huge fireball in the sky we have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded flight director confirms that we are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point procedures are in effect um, we will report uh, more as we have information available again to repeat uh, we have a report uh, relayed to, through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded we are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, word from any recovery of forces in the downrange field. In what appears to be a major catastrophe in America's space program, Challenger, only seconds after leaving the launch pad, according to NASA, has exploded in midair. No word yet on if there are any survivors.